Here in Canada, the Prime Minister has released a statement reacting to Sharon's death. Stephen Harper says on behalf of all Canadians, Lorene and I offer our deepest condolences to the family and friends of former Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon and to the Israeli people. A renowned military leader, Mr. Sharon pursued the security of Israel with unyielding determination that was recognized by friends and foes alike. Canada values its long-standing relationship with Israel, which is based on shared values, common interests, and strong political, economic, cultural, and social ties. As you can appreciate, there's lots of reaction from other countries as well, and from people who met him during his long career. The CBC's Dominic Valaitis is tracking that part of the story from London. So, Dominic, what are people around the world saying about Ariel Sharon today? Uh, well, first of all, Nancy, uh, U.S. President Barack Obama has offered his deepest condolences to Ariel Sharon's family and the people of Israel, describing him as a leader who dedicated his life to his country. Uh, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry has also paid tribute. He described Sharon's journey as Israel's journey, adding that he was a man who was prepared to take d tough decisions and someone who was always crystal clear about where he stood. The U.K. Prime Minister David Cameron said he was one of the most most significant figures in Israeli history and someone who took brave and controversial decisions in pursuit of peace. A spokesman for the German Chancellor Angela Merkel uh, said that uh, she is in mourning with the Israeli people and praise what he called a courageous decision to withdraw Israeli settlers from the Gaza Strip. Uh, meanwhile, a spokesman for the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said that he will be remembered for his political courage and determination. Finally, and despite troubled relations between Russia and Israel dating back to the Cold War, President Vladimir Putin highly praised Sharon's personal qualities and his activities to protect Israel's interests. The Kremlin described him as an outstanding statesman and military commander. Nancy. Good to know. Dominic, thanks for this. Dominic Valaitis in London.